When you're designing speakers, do you design them differently for audio use versus home theater? What are the issues that are different, or are they really the same speaker? If it sounds good well, on to, pianos, it sounds good on movies. To first order, the same speaker. Uh -huh. um, the requirements for home theater are somewhat different from the requirements, say, for two-channel stereo. Right. It plays louder. Basically, that's it. If you want to go with the THX specification, there are very stringent requirements on the maximum sound pressure levels mm -hmm. the speakers have to generate, and the distortion levels and the frequency mm -hmm. range that are covered are all specified for home theater. So if you design to the THX specification, uh, there are a fairly uh, rigid set of requirements. And that have speakers that are for theaters are THX? Are, are all THX. All THX Many right. of them are THX certified. Uh, others that are not THX certified have still been designed. Uh -huh. Now, when you get to, li to channel listening, uh, it really depends. Uh, every speaker I design, I believe, is neutral in sound. Mm -hmm. What you're really talking about is What's its total frequency range cover and what's its dynamic capabilities? Mm -hmm. Now, if you're into chamber music and small ensemble and the like, and you use our K7 or J7 model, you have a very nice small two-way speaker which has beautiful frequency balance, excellent detail. It can't do cannon explosions right. in THX, but if you are a dedicated two-channel enthusiast and you're not listening to the largest symphonic works or mm -hmm. you know, Beethoven's Ninth or something like that, right. you'll be very happy with that loudspeaker. Right. Which, which brings up a side. We have it set up in our display, which... I think those are the J7s. J7s right? with one of your subwoofers. Okay. Now, how does that compare with a floor standing speaker? That's a popular combination. You know, subwoofer, satellite, small speakers. That concept versus, this is only performance, versus floor standing loudspeakers. Which do you prefer? And well, ultimately, I prefer floor standing yeah. loudspeaker. But uh, in the case of something like the J7, if you want to get that bottom octave, you're going to have to add a subwoofer. Right. It just doesn't come. No, I understand. It doesn't come from the J7. And so the question in adding the subwoofer. What becomes critical is the selection of the crossover frequency mm -hmm. and subwoofer placement mm -hmm. so that it integrates properly. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I generally like to keep the subwoofer near either the left or the right speaker, not too far away from it, because mm -hmm. if you get more than about five milliseconds of delay, which is about five feet in different distance, <clears throat> you can hear it. 